obviously there is a change in the industry, right? We can, this is like everyone agrees here, I, I think on the call, right? There's a change on how buyers are perceiving the buying process and doing all those kind of things, right? And maybe I'll start from, from a different place, right? I'm using Zoom Info, that uh, amazing product. I'm using Sendoso, Chris, we're, we're a client as well. And the reason Walnut adopted those two products, those two great products is because we wanted to make sure that we're reducing friction in front of our clients. We're using form complete from Zoom Info, Heck, to the level that they know need to fill a full form on the website itself, reduce the friction there, right? Um, and then from, uh, from Chris, from Sendoso, we, we, we try to build a more, more uh, personalized experience that has some more fun stuff on the offline aspect. Those are the two things we did. And the main thing that we see across the board, and the reason we did this is we're trying to reduce friction for our potential buyers, right? So a lot of things that people are doing today, they're trying to resolve the same problem or the same challenges uh, or the, those challenges that they have with the same paradigm. Hey, let's have a prospect, put him on a website. He will go inbound. Once he goes inbound, let's have an SDR talk with him. And then the SDR will do like a, like a discovery call for 30 minutes. And then he will go to an account executive. The account executive will do a discovery call. And only then uh, on the third call, you'll have like a, a conversation about what the prospect actually needs, right? Even if you did a little bit of discovery and talk, you don't unveil in the pain very early on in the beginning, right? And, and until they, it reaches a solution engineer or something that you can actually talk about the pain that I have and the resolution that I came, you're still going through this rigorous buying or uh, buying process, purchasing process. So that's, that's something that the industry is still having changed. And what, what essentially we're trying to change and being a B2B uh, or having, moving from a B, B2B kind of like managed service or manage uh, selling presses uh, service to actually a centric buying process to put the prospect in the center itself is actually having the, the prospect engage with the product very early on on the website level i'm not talking about self-serve i'm talking about the ability to engage with the product in like more data maybe engage with the product in kind of capsulate environment you can have today there are many many tools today that you can have that uh, that you can learn about the prospect and what he did on your website to start the conversation from a different place Mm. To start a conversation from, hey, I saw you engage there. I saw you engage there. You know, one of the things that you, I, I love Clouter. I love the brand. I love the product. But one of the things that you said is like, we, you need to be there to hand in hand with your prospect while he's trying the, pro, uh, the product. Why? You can use product like Pool Story, for example, that you can see what, he, uh, what he's doing. And if you see, if you get stuck, you can flex stuff. You can put intercom. You have more places to make sure that the, the seller itself wouldn't be a major part of the process. Now, the equivalent is B2C because that's the main topic we're talking about. Think about the fact that you'll go in the store and you want to buy a coat. That's awesome. But then the, the, you know, the cash uh, and the cash register, they ask you, oh, really? This is the coat? Are you sure you're committed enough for this coat? Are you sure it's hot enough outside or cold enough outside for this coat? No one is asking you. No one is giving you the, uh, this entire process. You decided, you made the research before, you decided you want to go I don't know, um, uh, buy a Niklo coat for that matter or whatever other brand that you have out there, right? And you went to the store, you bought this coat and no one is asking you any other questions. Now you're going to tell me, uh, and now a lot of the organizations we're talking with are, are scared from this move because it changes because maybe our product is too complex or maybe our product is too expensive, right? Or maybe we're too enterprise for doing all those kind of things. Yes, there are many kind of situations that you need to adopt, but at the end of the day, as I, as I see it, we need to start changing the paradigm of like, hey, having that user uh, prospect coming in inbound, having a discovery call, doing all those kind of things, rather, rather than empowering the different sellers, the different, you know, uh, talking about Brian, uh, uh, commitment from the go-to marketing, empowering each one of the people on the selling chain, on the sales funnel to actually expose and talk about the pain points and talk about the product very early on. Because reality is when those buyers are coming, A, they did a huge research before. They know what they want. They like, and, and that's like 60, 70% of the selling of the buying process is not with you. They know what they want, but they also don't care about your entire product. They're coming to you with one problem, two problems they want to resolve, and then they move on, right? I came to Sandasa because we wanted to start sending gifts to, to a, or a, a swag just for new employees. And then we brought in this use case, right? But that's the main problem that I had. And I came to Zoom Info because I needed more context and more uh, and, and to increase my outbound. That's the one problem. Right now, my spend with Zoom Info, I can't disclose it, but uh, you owe me something. So, uh, so that's, I came with one issue, with one challenge, and I didn't want to hear anything else. 
I didn't want to talk with anyone else. I, hey, that's what I need. Can you do it? Awesome. I, I looked at three companies, send me pricing list. Bye. Thank you. And the last thing, last thing I would say, because I want to make sure that everyone has enough time. I think a lot of companies are misusing, misusing call recording apps like Gong and Chorus, right? The reason they're misusing it is because instead of empowering the reps, educating the reps, well, uh, the reps are going and they're going on a call like robots. And I want to hit that point and I have to hit that point. I have, otherwise my manager will tell me, hey, you didn't mention that. You didn't mention that, right? You kind of like lose the, the fun and the romance in selling. And that's the exact opposite. It moves away from putting the buyer in the center. It moves away. It actually puts the entire sales process on the seller. The seller is important in the sales process if, you're, if you have to hit those points. So I don't care if my prospect has those problems. I have to hit those points. So to, just to sum it up, I think that's what it means. It's, it's, it's empowering each and every person on your sales funnel to show the product making sure that you expose the pain as early on with different kinds of tools, even before they engage with you on online, on the website itself, and then start the conversation, not from a discovery, a broad discovery, but a direct discovery about the pain of the prospect, the prospect that came inbound and then move forward there. That's the expectation from, from buyers today, period. They're, and they're only getting more and more uh, demanding around those expectations.